All right, so let's do a quick one about two things that were requested, um, jump files and handles. And these are both uh, two concepts that are really important for Viper specifically. So we're just gonna jump right into it. I have, um, I was working on a level three mission last night and I actually just ran into this. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have a public, I gotta do a mission, but we're just kind of, we're, we're doing this right now. So let's, so if we end map the public, we can see that uh, the kernel router's open, <clears throat> 1.2 on port 22 and 1.2 on port 80. So the obviously SSH is probably what we want to try and get directly into a shell. Um, so, and I'll explain all this in just a second. So let's do an exploit scan of the public on port 22. And then we are gonna specify this guy, uh, 192.168.1.2, .1 sets a LAN computer inside that network. <clears throat> and also keep in mind, I'm SSH'd into my other server, and then I use advar lib0 to make sure that I can still use the processing power. Don't, don't forget that, otherwise this part is gonna take forever. If it takes super long, then you know you forgot to add the, the lib. So we've exploit scanned that computer on port 22, um, and so let's check targets. Okay, object types. We have shell, we have file, and we have computer. Those are the three levels of object types, of handles. Basically, the order is if you have a shell, you're good. If you have a computer, that's better than file, but not as good as shell. And then file is technically not as good as computer, but if you get root file, you can you can move stuff, right? So the object type is kind of what it sounds. Um, so let's let's look at some examples. So <clears throat> if I'm looking at this, I want to go root file object. Now that means that I can't do a bunch of stuff. So let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see, let's do use one. And as you can see, we are now on. 1.2 and our handle type is file now if you don't know what you can do in that object type just press help in viper and as you can see all the stuff that you can't do is going to be grayed out right so you can't make a jump file as a file object you can't sudo elevate you can't ssh you can't drop into a shell <clears throat> right you can't get or put these are all things that are basically reserved for a shell but i will say the file object type so if i wanted to i can wipe the machine right so if you get a corrupt a remote machine you do not need computer object you do not need shell object you need you all you need is root file <clears throat> so with that in mind, let's look at targets again. And I can already tell that the easiest way to get the password, so file and computer objects are basically to, um, to get the information that you need to get a root shell. So for example, on this computer, I'm root, I'm a file, but I can't, I can't import libraries, right? I can't copy stuff, I can't sudo. So the easiest thing is obviously to cat etc dash password, right? So once we get this, then we're in good shape, right? Now we have uh, the, uh, the root password. So that's a good start. Now, we really want shell. So what we wanna do is if we go back to targets, we have a guest shell and that and that's all we need right because we've already cracked the password all we need is any shell and then we can elevate from there using jump files which we'll also cover so let's let's do that let's do that here let's do a u0 okay so now we're in shell notice the difference notice the change that's good but we're as a guest so in order to get out of guest we need to create a jump file 
Gem files are very simple. It's a file that you put in the remote system, anywhere that you have access. Typically, it's gonna be in guest because, you know, lowest perm level in shell is guest, right? But you can put it anywhere. So let's say that I have root, uh, root shell on a computer. There's nothing stopping me from putting that jump file just on slash root, right? Um, but there are some shortcuts that you can use. So personally, even if I do get a root object, I still <clears throat> add jump files to guest just because it's it's easier because I already have this stuff, right? So there's there's a shortcut here. You could do jump guest file. Actually, let me let me let me do this. Oops. Okay. Um, and then we need to. Okay, so now I've removed that. Let's try this again. So let's do jump guest. Okay, and I didn't get a <clears throat> file already exists error, so we know we're good. Now, doing that, the jump guest, is exactly the same as going jump slash home slash guest slash jump file. Er, yeah. Did I remove the entire thing? Yep, so it's here. All right, so now we have a jump file in place. So doing jump guest is the same as doing jump home slash guest slash jump file. It's, it's the exact same thing. So now, now we can sudo, right? Now we can elevate from a guest shell to a root shell. So again, use help. It's really, really helpful. So we know that in order to sudo, we need sudo followed by the user, followed by the password, followed by jump path. All right, really, really, really easy. So we'll go sudo root I could, right? And then we can go scroll back up here, take a look. And then all we need is the jump path, right? So we can go home slash guest slash jump file look at that we're now root shell right so the the process of that was was exploit scanning the computer and then getting a root file object in order to concatenate the root password and then dropping into a guest shell throwing down the jump file and then elevating to root um, so let's and let's talk about one more thing. Metasploit uh, imports, right? So let's say that I this is a fresh network to me and I don't have anything in here. I actually already did this, but let's do home um, guess. Okay, so it should be done. So let's say, um, let's say I want to hack the router here or I need to hack another device in here, we really don't want to use the Metasploit library from our home computer. We want to put Metasploit in here so that we're doing the scan from something in, you know, inside the network. Um, so let's do that really quick. Uh, we're going to do... I actually have these on a notepad, which I highly recommend because it's kind of a pain in the ass. So here's the first command. Put slash lib slash meta exploit dot so slash home slash guest so what this means is i'm going to put this is a local folder right so on my home computer at slash lib slash meta exploit dot so and then the destination which is slash home slash guest slash right because you're just you're specifying a folder to put the file in not like with jump files where you're specifying a specific file Right? If you do not see this process bar, you have not done it correctly. Metasploit isn't uploaded, right? So now Metasploit is sitting on that computer. Now we have to import the library, right? We move the file, then we import the library. So I'm gonna paste this command again so I don't have to type it out. It's this, the same thing. 
get lib is the first command basically means get the library and where is the library well we just put it on home guest so we know that's where it is and then we have to reference the jump file which is in the same location home guest jump file right so git lib where meta exploit is now and then where the jump file is now and then you press enter okay and then you should see a library imported that's a good sign now when we type libs see how this is grayed out also note the ip the local ip of it right so we want to use the one from this 1.2 computer so let's do a use lib three okay right so now i've said the library that i want to use is not my home library i want to use the meta exploit on my uh, first victim computer so now if i type libs look at that the meta exploit from my home machine that library has been removed and it's been replaced with the meta exploit library in this new 1.2 location right. so there we go so that's that's basically all you need to know from there you're pretty much gonna get whatever you need um, this is a good way to do a lot of bounce exploits um, or you know scan other devices in the network and stuff scan of the public just real quick all right so now we have all these subnets so if I wanted to I could um, uh, use this to get into the local router right the 192.168.1.1 and then from there I could bounce exploit other devices in the network in order to get access but yeah I want to keep this kind of short um, if you have any questions obviously I'm a nobody so just let me know I'll answer them um, there's not a lot of people play this game, so I have no problem making videos for specific requests. Uh, you know, obviously like, comment, subscribe, all those things that people are supposed to say. Uh, thanks.